All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Central Valley Business here on centralvalleytalk.com. I'm Mike Scott. We have a busy show for you today. And we're going to start right now with uh, Patty Capaludi, who runs a company called Patty's Help. And guess who's helping out Patty right now? <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> He's a good helper. He's a good helper, yeah. But you are a virtual assistant, is that? Yes. Explain that to me. What exactly does that mean? Well, basically, I'm an administrative assistant, primarily... Um, most of my work is done virtually, so um, a lot of my clients will scan and email me things, uh, work to do, things to work on. Um, so I, mean, I work like bookkeeping, or I'm yeah. Really? Um, if, for example, uh, I'm working for a uh, therapist. So when he gets a new client, he'll scan to me their information. I'll enter it into his system. I'll verify their insurance. I do his billing and then follow up on any billing issues with the insurance companies. And so that frees him up to do what he loves to do, which is therapy. And then I get to do all the dirty work, quote unquote. And you get to do it from home. Most, yeah. He doesn't need a space for you in his office. No, right? no. So he, I'm not his employee. I'm a contractor. So um, no he benefits. doesn't have to worry <laughs> about that. Yeah. And, um, and then as I've done other things as well, one-time projects. Um, someone needs uh, files cleaned up or research done. Um, I've also done um, some social media type things, set up Facebook pages for people. Um, I've even done some event planning, helping with that sort of thing, running errands, kind of more of a personal assistant. Um, what don't you do? <laughs> I, I even <laughs> baked snacks and brought them in, Seriously? so you'll have to get some, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you brought them in here? Yeah. Oh, I saw some on the table inside. The little Halloween treats? Yeah. How cool is that? All right. So how did this how did this come about? How did you start doing this? Out of necessity. Yeah. Um, I had lost my job. and um, You have to get creative when that happens. That's right. Exactly. And it happened to be about the same time that um, my therapist client um, had lost his office person. And um, just mutual friends said... Patty is looking for something to do. She'd be perfect. Um, I'm organized and trustworthy. He had had some issues with, tr you know, trust being breached, and um, so. Well, it's not good in the therapist's office. No, 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 no. no. And um, so anyway, I got in touch and thought, you know, I could do this for other people as well. And uh, so there's also websites out there that I work from. Elance uh, is one. O Office is another. And so you bid on projects um, as well there. But um, you mean a business will say, "I need this done," and different mm -hmm. people submit bids? Mm -hmm. Wow, I didn't know that was out there. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's one of the up and coming um, jobs. So um, and it fits perfectly for for me, someone who's self motivated and that sort of thing that can. Not just sit around all day watching Jerry Springer. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still on? I don't even know. I don't know either. <laughs> it, it sounds like it's the kind of job where you could do it as much or as little as you wanted yes. to. As few mm -hmm. hours or as many hours mm -hmm. as you wanted to. Yeah. Yes, but I am looking for more. <laughs> That's why you're here today. That's right, that is. <laughs> so who are you mainly your clients? Are they small businesses or are they just regular people? Who just regular people um, that are looking to be able to do more of what they're good at and what they enjoy doing and um, so they can make more money and uh, then I kind of do more the non-billable kind of work for mm -hmm. them. So they're out, they can just keep making as much money as they want to and um, further their business and enjoy more of what they're, um, of what they do. You mentioned that you had set up a Facebook page for someone. I'm mm -hmm. amazed at how many business people know how to run a business but don't understand <laughs> exactly. the Internet part of it. That's where you can come in handy, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. and then link them to other things. Um, I was able, I, I'm not good at web pages, but I do know people. So connected him and everything got coordinated so that it's all uniform and um, as well as marketing materials and stuff like that. Coordinate just a, a large project like that for someone. Yeah. You enjoy what you do? I do. I really do. I, I'm an organized person, so uh, I like problem solving and things like that. Yeah. yeah. I, I like when good things come out of something bad. I mean, you <laughs> lose your job, which is a bad thing, but then you find something that you really like doing and enjoy, <laughs> and you probably never would have found it 
if you no. were stuck with your old job. That's right? right. Exactly. I would wouldn't get to sit here with Robbie and <laughs> <laughs> How lucky can you be? I know. <laughs> oh, he's gonna give you a kiss. I warned you. <laughs> Maybe you should get into a, a pet sitting. That could that could be too. <laughs> I can type and pet sit at the same time. This you is would sit there all day in your life. Part of if you doing let my uh, work at home, I I have pets at home that help me there yeah. as well. So, all right, <laughs> let's get down to the serious stuff now. Do you mm -hmm. charge by the hour or by the job? How how does that work? Both. Both. Um, so it just depends on the job. If it's a one-time project, usually it's more of the one-time fee. Um, if it's ongoing, uh, it's more by the hour and um, kind of just negotiate how many hours. Um, some will set limits and say, I can, I can afford 10 hours per week or you know what have you. And uh, so sometimes they're like, I just want to get this done, work as much as you can and just get it over with by the end of the week, so. Yeah, all right, so if people are interested in finding out more about you or about the services you offer, where can they go? Patty's help at gmail.com. Now, is that Patty with a Y? Yes. And is there an apostrophe? No. At Patty's help. <laughs> Patty's help at gmail.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, but you have a website, too, and I'm assuming, and Facebook and all that? Well, I have my personal one. Personal and, one? Yeah. yeah. You want to keep Patty that separated, Capilouti, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, if someone calls you today, how soon could you start? Immediately? Today? Really? <laughs> wow. This evening. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they, I, can, they can call me at 559-355-9722 as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but, I mean, you say you could start this evening, but first you're going to want to, I'm assuming, meet with them or discuss right. what they expect, what you think you can do. Mm -hmm. I mean, how long does that take? Um, it, depending on how complicated it is, and I do have a contract that people sign just so that everything's clear and in writing, and um, I'm usually 1099 if it's going to be, you know, something of substance, and so um, we get all that paperwork squared away, and then, yeah. so uh, just a day. What's covered in the contract? Um, my services that I'm going to be providing. So you spell um, it out. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. These are the things I'm going to be doing for how much per hour or per price. And, um, you know, payment, you know, before, during, and after. Um, so there's little milestones. You know, once you do the first round, then I'll pay you so much and, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Have you ever had to turn somebody down just because you thought it was you couldn't do the job? or Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I'm sure that day may come, though. No. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> All right. Patty Capaluti from Patty's Help. If you need a virtual assistant, she's available. One more time with the uh, information about how they can reach you. At pattyshelp at gmail.com and 559-355-9722. And that information is there. been on the screen the whole time, too. All right. Well, I, I love having guests that love Robbie sitting on the right. <laughs> Thanks for coming in today, Patty. Thank you. All right. We'll be back with more on Central Valley Talk.